Well, you know, Singapore is a good bet, you know, and I'm not saying that because I'm a Singaporean and based here in Singapore, but, you know, it's a good bet. Uh, we think that, you know, corporate governance here is good among most companies, the big companies. Uh, Singapore offers pretty attractive dividend yield. Uh, Singapore economy is holding up relatively well. I mean, they're supposed to go into a technical recession, but the MTI in Singapore, the Ministry of Trade Industry, disclosed the second quarter numbers and we, we, we skipped the technical recession. And, you know, I think the government here has the firepower. They've got lots of reserves, uh, resources to help the economy if, if, if needed. And Well, that wasn't last week's uh, Nodox figure a sobering reminder of the external headwinds. We are very trade dependent. And is. is that reason to be cautious? Uh, there is reason to be cautious uh, on, that, on that score. But mm. at the same time, if you talk about global recovery in 2024... Uh, small economies like Singapore, which are very, very leveraged on the global uh, economy, will benefit disproportionately as well. You know, and beyond that, I think you've got lots of companies here uh, which are defensive, offers uh, yield. Yeah, it always has been, right? Including, of course, uh, the S-REITs, yeah. But, uh, uh, Vasu, uh, you know, you, you said that corporate governance here is still very, very strong and recognized as such by foreign investors. Uh, I don't mean to put you in a tough position, but I think we need to talk about this or bring it up. What about governance itself? Because the events of the uh, last two weeks or so have thrown, have basically made for probably the, the biggest political crisis this island and this government has faced in at least modern history. Uh, right? Speaker of Parliament sacked. MP sacked. Another MP in the cabinet uh, arrested. Yes. This is not sort of usual for uh, the government here. So my question to you is, uh, let's stay away from the politics, of course, but for a foreign investor looking at uh, Singapore uh, exposure, whether it's uh, equities or, or, or even paper uh, bonds, etc., do they care? I think they would care. They would worry about what's happening on the political front. It is clearly one of the factors they would take into consideration when making an investment decision. Uh, but does this represent major political change does it represent a regime change? Uh, I don't think so. You know, it represents problems, quite clearly problems. Uh, you've seen this happen elsewhere in the world. And, you know, so clearly things need to be tightened. Uh, and I think it will be done. Uh, but does it represent uh, political upheaval? Uh, I don't think so. And uh, so, you know, there's still confidence that the government of today will continue to retain power. And uh, that will be good for the economy.